Good night, daughter of God. Janine, you're not sleeping? <laughs> catching up my daughter oh I thought time is a no oh no yeah contemplating but um good just a little bit tired but I'm good not gonna be here for long but I'm good God is good. God bless you. Good night, my love. Moni, Marjorie. God bless you, daughter dearest. You was? How? Mm. Christine, good night. He wasn't in Bible study to know. Good night, Marcia. Oh, well, the Lord is right. The Lord speaks. God bless you, baby. The Lord does speak. And yeah, he's speaking to us tonight. Oh, Cecile. I didn't see her on Bible study tonight. Is she okay? There's a little song that says, God is bigger than all my problems. He's bigger than all my fears. I want to play that song tonight. Amen, Shauna. Bless you, Bernice. Bernice, what? <laughs> Does that a girl like to play? Desi, God bless you, daughter. Hallelujah. Okay, let me play this little song. Let me play Bridget Blutcher. Hallelujah. Amen. To the gay, God bless you, daughter. So I wipe my weeping eyes and I look to us. I see pa Evangelist Brown on this line. I see. Whoa, yeah. 
Wait then now, wait then now. Cheryl, how are you, my love? Mr. Miller, God bless you, sir. How many of you know that we serve a great, big, wonderful God? Bigger than any problem, any trial, any test, any fear. Janelle, all the way from uh, Trinidad. God bless you tonight, my love. Good night, Shanique. How are you doing? God is, is bigger. Listen up, family. Bigger is bigger than any situation. Hallelujah. Listen. In the midst of all my problems. In the midst. In the midst of all my fears. I cried to my Savior and he heard my every prayer. He said I'm with you always. Only you can depend. So I wipe my weeping eyes. God 
God is. I said God is. I can, I cannot see. Why is bigger? Why? That I can, I cannot see. God is bigger than all my fears. God is bigger than any mountain that I can, I cannot see. Woo! Bigger than all my trials. Bigger than all my yes, God is bigger. It's a dress, baby. It's not what I can see. I see my God is bigger. God bless you, Judith. Oh, God is bigger. That I can, I cannot see. God is big. Woo! He's big. Oh, God is big. Hallelujah. Good night, Minister Mackenzie. God is bigger than any mountains that you can see that you can or you even can't see i don't care how the problem is big i don't care how the problem seems unsurmountable god is bigger glory to god my god tonight god is bigger than any problems any mountain any trial god is bigger amen he's bigger Papa son and 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 the young lady sing um um big god god he holds the key to my whole heart no other name above yours god you're just that bigger amen what am i saying to me to you tonight glory to god god is bigger my than all your problem bigger than any situation that can come your way you wanna hear it again come on hear it eh? the boss is in the house in the midst of it in the midst of On me you can depend, money pull up, you better say it, Mizzy. Why? Do you have any problem? God is bigger. I cannot see. Yes. Oh God, it's bigger than all. Bigger than every any trial. Bigger 
your problem to fade away my god miss victory god is bigger problems, any trouble, any mountain. Glory to God. God is bigger than any mountain that you can or cannot see. What do you say tonight? God is bigger. What B bigger than what people say. Yes, God is bigger than what people say. God is bigger than our test. He's bigger than our trials. He's bigger than any problem. Bigger than any mountain. Higher than any, any mountain. Lower, my God, than any valley. God is, is magnificent. He is awesome tonight. Glory to God. God bless you. Cleo, thank you. <laughs> Everybody love my outfit. It's all crochet. Thank God. It's, it's, it's a lot of time in this dress. Glory to God. It's very heavy because it's all crochet. So I don't wear it often, you know. So today I just felt like, you know, putting it on. And thank you for liking it. But God is bigger. God, you are bigger than any problem bigger than anything God did show Katalabosia. I am a fanatic for God. I am glory to God. I am lost in him. I am just crazy in love with God. He is my all sufficient. You know, a lot of people say a lot of things about me and how uh who God is in my life and who is not. And, you know, they don't think I am so 
so deep they don't think i am that deep in god but listen my relatives our family can tell you they can all tell you from the day i gave my life to jesus christ that was it that was it i love him to this day he's my all in all he's my problems problems that comes it never gets greater bigger than my god mm -mm, i see god in it over everything I put my confidence and my trust in God and God alone. And tonight, I want you to put your trust and your confidence in God. For when all else fail, God will never fail you. You know, we were on our Bible study tonight. And, you know, we were speaking about, because we're in the book of Hebrews chapter 12. And after seeing such great faith displayed among those, the great witnesses that have gone before us, we understand that God is really like saying, those he love, he chastises. And, and why should we allow such great any sin that so easily be, to beset us? You know how we need to how we need to run this race with with patience and and understand that we cannot allow things we cannot allow any sin to really hinder us from serving God. For are we serving God because of things? Or uh, did we bring him down as we were discussing? Do we bring him down to, to things and not, and he's, he's not God uh, where he's at? And, and so if we, do we reduce him to stuff? Because uh, when you talk, when we talk about God, what we do, we talk about stuff. Eh? Oh, God, and do this for me. And every time we look at God is what God can do for me or what God eh, or what God um, didn't do or what God did do. And No. And so tonight when we look at it, therefore, since we are surrounded with such huge crowd of witnesses to the life of faith, let us strip off every weight and slow that slows us down especially sin that so easily trips us up mm -hmm. and let us run with endurance the race god set before us we do not we do this by keeping our eyes on jesus the champion my god tonight the champion jesus the champion who initiate and perfect our faith. He initiated this thing. He started this thing and he'll finish it. What are you, what are you concerned about? He start this. I tell God, you start this thing, you know, you start this thing called salvation, you know. You start this thing called faith. We don't know nothing about this thing. It's a mystery to us. So we accept us accept what you give to us. We accept it and we live by faith and not by sight. Anything you say, I saw it go. Anything you say, God, I saw it go. And so our eyes must be fixed on Jesus Christ, not on the struggles, not on the problem, but on Christ, not on the, on the challenges of life, not on the him or the her, not on the that or the those, not on the high or the lows, not on, or on the ins or the out, but on Christ. Amen. On Jesus Christ. Testimony yesterday, I went to work, I just got I just couldn't sell anything because I'm a sales rep and I sow my seed and went on faith and went on, went on something, went on somebody, somebody tell me what, somebody tell me what, somebody tell me what, glory to God, went on, went on, went on somebody, so it says, uh, customer today, got a good sale first second customer a bigger sale and i said i shall be victorious and i won't put uh, to shame because i am the number one seller at the store so at all times i have to do my best i was so mad i left early because i was frustrated but god is bigger and i had a great sale today oh you know god come on 
See, you are putting your eyes on what you could do or what you couldn't do. You're not looking at the bigger God. The big God, the great God, the almighty God. He's not about things. It's about him. You know, as you worship him and let him be your everlasting portion, let him be uh, the love of your life, let him be the joy uh, 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 of who you are, then you'll see. You see, and so when you get rid of it, and, and it says, looking unto the author and the finisher of our faith. He started this thing. And the Bible said we overcome by the word of our testimony. Amen. And the blood of the lamb. Tonight, understand that with God, with God, with God, with God, it's not about things, but it's about who God is. So you went on fasting. Very good. Die to yourself and watch God come alive in you. Glory be to God. Watch God and, and, and serve God, f not for what he can do for you, but, but as God, uh, as your creator. As you know, one day the Lord said to me um, in church, he said, why do, they, why, why do we love to worship? Why do we, we worship the creation more than the creator? And I said, you're right. People worship the things more than they worship you who created these things. So tonight we will not worship things. We will worship God in spite of whatever comes. We, we do not compare it with our love relationship with God. Our love for God is greater than what we want in this earth. Amen. So as he says that uh, uh, we must look at the champion who initiate and perfect our faith. Because of the joy awaiting him, he endured the cross, uh, disregarding its shame. Yeah? Now he is seated in the place of honor beside God's throne. Think of all the hostility he endured from sinful people. Mm-hmm. Then you won. Um, then you won't be be. Uh, think about what he endure. How he how we in the, he endure um, the suffering and the struggle and the mocking and and the and the scourging from sinful people. When you think of all the hostility he endure from sinful people, then you won't. My God, then you won't. Become weary and given and give up. To what? I always say give up to what? Give up to the devil who comes to kill, steal, and destroy. Uh -uh, I ain't giving up God. <laughs> I don't care what happened. I ain't giving up God to go to the devil, Diabolus, the Lucifer. No. Who got kicked out of heaven? No, no, no. Who comes to kill, steal, and destroy me? No, he just wants to use me, and after he's done use me, he just kicked me to the curb? No, no, no. Ain't going to do that. Never will. Never, ever, ever, ever will. Are you with me tonight? And so, after, after all, you have not yet given your lives in your own struggle against sin give your life up to god tonight is the night to really really ask god whatever you give to me i don't love you because of what you can give i love you because you're god i love you because you are great i love you because you are awesome i love you because not because of what you can do i love you just love you because you have me here on the earth and i'm willing to fight your battles with you god i'm willing i'm down here to fight uh for the kingdom of god and that's what we're doing amen we must destroy the works of darkness as for the devil he is he listen he lost his power long long to over two thousand years ago all right, so tonight God is bigger than any problem, bigger than any situation that you would face. Understand that what Christ does, he, he comes to empower us. He comes to cause our spirit to go, go, rise above our carnal, natural state of mind. 
So tonight, I want you to know God is bigger than all your problems and is bigger than all your fears. He'll always come through. Just believe he'll do it for you. He, he saved you. That's enough. And that's enough. Oh, Lord, and that's enough. Hey, he saved me. That's enough. He's keeping me. That's enough. Love me. That's enough. He owes me. That's enough. Everything is, that's enough. Lord, I thank him that everything he's done for me is enough. Hallelujah. Worship God tonight. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I worship God tonight. Any problem you you face, glory to God. Is right? Glory to God. Must be resolved. When? Now. In Jesus' name. Will you declare that tonight? Any, any problem that face you must be resolved. Now, why? Because Christ lives in you. He's not by might nor by power. It's not you, but it's the Christ that says, listen, away with that. Away with that. Enough is enough. Are you hearing me? So I thank God tonight for that. Psalm, um, Psalm 119, 18, open my eyes, O Lord, so I could see the instructions. If your eyes is not open, you will not see. I am not talking about your natural eyes. I am saying if your, uh, your, your, the eyes of your understanding is open, glory to God, your spiritual eyes, eyes when it's open you're not blind to what god is doing when your eyes are not when your spiritual eyes are not open when your when your when your understanding is darkened according to the word you will not see what the spirit is saying and he's speaking to you about the bible says um if you that have an ear to hear let him hear what the spirit says he's that have an eye to see hear what the spirit is say, is is showing amen Right now, in Jesus' name, I don't know about it, but my victory is, I got my victory. I'm done. Listen, the year can always come to an end right now, but because I know I got, I got my victory. Yeah, I'm just, oh my God, I can't wait to celebrate what God is doing and has done and will do for us. Amen. Don't you know, Tukaraboshia. Nanda Rabadi say, if you can only see, my God, Elijah said, uh, Elijah's servant said, Master, my God, I see, I see, I see horses, thousands of horses, house chariots and of horses. He said, Relax, they are more with us than they that are against us. Hello, more with us than they that are against us. Watch this. Elijah says, Father, open his eyes. And the Spirit of God just whoops, moved the scale from his eye and gave him a spiritual understanding and his spiritual eyes opened. And he said, Oh, God, well, glory to God. I don't need to see anymore. And the Lord, he, he, he closed back his eyes and said, Oh, man, there's so much more with us than they that are against us. So when you see what God has, oh my God, the unsurmountable blessings and, oh my God, victory for you. Why would you succumb to this, oh God, to the voice that wants to taunt you and shift your focus? Oh my God, cause you to lose the victory like Eve. No, 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 no. We're not going to be like Mother Eve. There ain't no more Mother Eve around. It's all, it's, it's, listen, it's all Jesus, the second Adam. Do you hear me? And so our faith is in God. I'm not going to be looking at, oh, I wonder if that, oh, he's going to do that. I wonder if that's going to, no. I wonder if, uh, I'm not wondering nothing. I know that I know that I know, just as I know I'm born of the spirit and washed in his blood, just as I know that no weapon form against me, just as I know no demon, no sorcerer, no death, no life, no principality, no things present, no things to come, my God can come against me as I'm in Christ. I know that. And nothing can change that. So whatever I see here don't matter. 
I just keep worshiping God. You are bigger than all my problems. You are bigger than all the fears. You are bigger than any mountain that I climb. Oh, glory. He's just building up my strength. When he comes, he said, I'm building your faith, I think. Oh, yes, Lord. I know one step closer to you. Ooh, my God, they shall. If you ever know how powerful you are, you would, listen, you would not even, you would tell yourself, sit down. Self, be quiet. Self, stop it. You would do that. But when you're so earthly minded, you are so naturally minded, you can't, God, you can't even see what God is doing with and for you. You can't see it. But tonight, the song says, when I, when I kneel in prayer, my God, oh God, he overwhelms me with his presence and my prob the problems fade away. Can the problems fade away tonight? Ah, do you want to hear the song again? The woman of God said, and when I kneel in prayer, the problem fades away by the overwhelming presence of God. God. You worry about people doing this and people do People can't do you. Listen, when you're in Christ, what can people do to you? The Bible said, what did Jesus say? All right, let me help you with that. Let me help you with what my, my daddy said. Daddy said that, um, uh, um, that, that, that do not be afraid or be fearful who can kill body. But be afraid of him who can kill body and soul and send people to hell. Mm. So guess what? Yes, ma'am. That's the whole point. When God teaches me, I grow. When he, when I teaches you, you grow. Because what he gives me, I give you. And we grow together. Because we're going up. We're going up. Daughters of God. We're going up, 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 up. We're not listening. I'm not leaving. God sent me to earth to prepare. My assignment is to prepare the people for heaven because tomorrow is not promised. So I can't tell you to focus on, oh, the car. I know you're going to get car and land and truck and bus. And I'm not going to do that. The Lord said to me, oh, you're going to have a baby. Boom, the baby comes. Yeah, but you got to be married. I don't say what God don't say. What God tells me, God told me the other day. He said, listen, the victory is won. You're good. Everything that is uh, that that was um, need to fix, he says he fixed it. I go to my bed. I don't. I don't I'm not careful about what all did this one did and what they're trying to do and what they. I don't care about that. I don't care about what you're doing because you can't do better than what God can do for me. Nobody can do better than my God. Hallelujah! Nobody. Nobody. Are you with me tonight? Nobody can do better than my daddy. Nobody. In all my... You, know, you want to know how old I am? No, you don't. In all my years of living, nobody do me better than, than, than God. No. If you do something for me, it's God prompt you, your heart, to do it for me. So, hey, thank you. Are you hearing me? But God must get the glory. Understand that tonight, that we must, our spiritual understanding. Listen, you're a spirit living in a body. This body only, this body carries the real me. The me that's speaking to you that you can see. Yeah, okay, how? How apostle? Okay, the voice you hear is the real me. When I'm dead, my voice, you ain't gonna hear my voice again. That voice is my spirit that's gone. Oh, so, you, so, 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 what am I saying tonight? That voice is not. That, 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 and any other voice you hear, what Jesus said, any other voice you hear is not him. When you must know the voice of God. Now, if you if you're in your sleep, because you know this voice, you're gonna know that it's me. When I'm when I pass, and I'm gone, you're not gonna hear this voice. This is the real me because this goes back to the earth, and the real me who gone up to talk to Daddy. I said I couldn't wait to get here. What? Hey, hi. 
love you. Woo! What? That's who. <laughs> My God, you got to know the spirit, man. Ain't nobody. What you talking about? Listen, don't let nobody believe that they are your, they are your God. They're not your God. God is God. People like to make you feel like, oh, you can't do without me. Yes, I can. Oh, you can't. You, I, you need me to survive. I don't need you to survive. I need God to survive. Are you with me? Some people don't want, feel like they can't do it. Oh, no, no, Lord, help us. You need God to survive. Are you hearing me tonight? Our eyes need to be spiritually open. The soul, the spirit goes back to God. Your soul goes back, goes to a holding place where you will be judged um, for your deeds done here on the earth. Remember, your soul is your, 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 your spirit. It, your spirit is the man that connects to God. Mm -hmm. So your soul, which is your mind, your will, and your emotions that the spirit empowers and causes you to become spiritually minded, which is life and peace. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to teach, I'm going to teach on that one, one, one of these days. <coughs> I preach a message that, um, uh, that spirit we must be spiritually minded um the spirituality the reality of spirituality i'm gonna teach that i'm gonna teach that one of these days um if the lord bids me but yes we must understand the spirituality um the reality of spirituality because re the spirit spirituality is realer than naturality <coughs> Yes, it's a spiritual, it's a spirit that causes us to be alive. Now, if there's no spirit, if the spirit is not alive, then you're dead. Mm -hmm. So you can be alive in God, which is in the spirit of God, or you're alive in another spirit. Because there are two there are different spirits, the spirit of, uh, of good and the spirit of evil, right? So you can be alive in good or you can be alive in evil, right? Your soul can be entangled with evil, and it and it your, your soul can be entangled with good. Our soul is entangled with good because we live with God. Ah, because we're living according to the principles of righteousness, the principles of God. He says, Eve. You are, do not partake, Adam, do not partake of the tree of good and evil. He says, he said, partake of the tree of good, not evil. What did she do? She, did, she make evil come talk to her and mess her up. Mm -hmm. So watch, watch, watch the knowledge you have because your, your knowledge can be puffed up and that makes it bad. Okay. But your knowledge can be humble of humility and that makes it good. So I don't care. Uh, for me, if even a baby talking to me, I have my notes because even a little child shall lead them. So I'm not, I'm not puffed up because knowledge puffed up is bad. It's evil. Us. That's what causes Lucifer to be cast out. That's what the problem is all about right now. Are you with me? So tonight, I want you to know that my word, if you do something for me, God put it in your you to do it. Yes, God says, I will cause men to bless you. Yeah. Are you with me tonight? Yes. So here I'm going to close it in five minutes. Luke 24, 31. The Bible says, when you see Jesus, your eyes will be open. Ask Isaiah about that. When you, Isaiah died, he saw Jesus. When you do not, when you have situation and problem before you, oh, you need a house, you need a car, Lord, you need a baby, Lord, you need a husband, and all this fill up in your head is the husband, husband, husband. Oh, you need a job, the job, the job, the job. You can't see God. So you're consumed by what you, by, by your own lust. Do not be consumed by your own lust. Then you won't see Christ. 
your eyesight, you'll be blinded by the, 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 the things you desire. Don't be blinded. You, you, you have problems in your home. All that's blind in you is, the, is what's going on in your home. Don't do that. Somebody say something and, say, uh, you know, there's a problem, um, a, a, a marital problem or a family problem or, you know, they can't see anything else but, but, but what's happened, what happened? Lord God, let the love of God and the peace of God supersede all that happened. Forgive and forget. It passed and gone long time. So let us move on from it. it we, listen, we, still, we were living without it. Why can't we just keep, keep it moving and still continue to live without it? Why are we stirring up strife? Huh? Why? So tonight, hear me. Let it go and let God. Focus, you let your focus be on, on him who is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before. God will provide all things for you, uh, but, uh, all things that pertain to life and godliness. He said he's your provider. Let him do it, okay? If you can't see spiritually, you are spiritually blind. Uh -huh. And that's called blind, leading blind. Luke 6, 39, and they both fell in a ditch. Yes. The Bible said, Revelation 3, 17, there are many that looks but few that see. So a lot of people are looking, only few are, are seeing what's, what's really happening. Few are seeing, but many people are looking. Many Christians see material things as spiritual blessings. Spiritual blessing is spiritual. Natural blessing is natural. Natural blessings come to the flesh. Spiritual blessing comes from God above. My God. And oh, you just know that God's going to work it out for you. And you don't have to. You don't even. You don't even. You, you, you're convinced. And you say, Lord, I thank you. And you love God even more for what he has done. And you just keep it moving. Are you with me on tonight? Don't see uh, all good and perfect gift from God. It comes from above. Wait for it. It's coming. When you are spiritually blind, the enemy will trick you. Yes, they will prophesy. Lie to you. They will prophesy lie to you and you will believe. And God is saying, that, but that's not true. And you stand up there, but, and you, I, you know, I went to Jamaica and the prophetess and, and bishop can attest that I went to Jamaica church and the prophet came up and he called up one of my sons that came down, went down with me. And he says, oh, I see you. I see you um, traveling with the apostle. Right? I see you traveling with the apostle. <laughs> So he says, yeah, and I see that you're going to get your, green, your visa. Yeah, and I see that um, you're going uh, um, to be traveling with her um, and, 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 and God's going to work it out for you going, and you're going to America. That is not true. Oh, that's what I'm saying to you is not true. No, it's not. I'm an American. Hello. You prophesy lied to me. That's not true. I'm an American. Do you telling me, oh, I'm gonna I'm, yeah, I know I'm gonna travel. I travel with Apostle, yeah, but um, but I'm not gonna get no visa. I'm born bred American. How is that? How am I gonna get a, a visa to go to America? Don't let people lie to you and then you stand up like, okay, yeah. You know it's not true. Put your hand down and say that's not true. That's not true. You know they're not telling you the truth. They're not speaking of God. But you stand up there acting like you. It's God. It's not God. Said no. Do like my daughter. Do like do like do like faith in action. Faith in action will like no. So what I'm saying is not true. No. Also, what you're saying, God didn't talk to me. No. One day, the one day, this man tell tell uh what am I daughter. Jeanette, he said, cover girl, come off the cover. Jeanette, he said, oh, God says I'm going to um, empower you with something, something. And Jeanette said, amen. And then he says, cover girl, come off the cover. Yeah, because you, you want to be a cover girl and you do. 
okay, let me, because I know what you're trying to say. And she just put her hand like this, like, I don't know what you're trying to say, because that's not true. Are you with me? You cannot stand before somebody who wants to speak to you and they're not speaking um, truth. Don't receive a lie. And you know, but and you, you know that's not true. And you stand up there. Don't stand up there. Just said, don't receive it. Close up. Close on your spirit. Blam, blam, blam. Lock it down. You know how to lock your spirit down? Block it out. They're talking about. You feel like you don't want to embarrass them. So you're not going to move. So you stand up there, but you block them. Because they lose you. They lose you. Right there and then, they lose you. Are you with me tonight? When, the, when God is speaking, yeah. Glory to God. Spirit be a witness. Hey, yes. Yes, sir. That is it. But if God is speaking, you got to see, hear, know, and understand spiritual things. These are days when the Bible says you must know this, uh, this, what spirit is speaking to you. Test every spirit, whether they be of God or not. Blindness can be put on a person. Elijah prayed that his servant eyes may be open, as, as I told you before, and that there is no more, there is more with them. His spiritual eyes was open. Though fear, oh Jesus, your spiritual eyes can be blinded through fear. You can be so afraid and it blinds you spiritually. You can't see what, what need you need to see. You can't hear what you need to hear because the spirit of, of, of fear shut you down. It shut down your spirit. Shut down you. It shut you. Shut your shut. Listen. So you got to say, uh-uh. Fear. God has not given me the spirit of fear, but the spirit of love, power, and a sound mind. So leave that. Leave. No, no, no. Eyes have great power. Eyes are the window to your soul. Eyes gather information and carry it to your soul. Mind, will, and emotion. So the Bible says, what's your eyes, what you see. Are you hearing me? There are natural eyes, mental eyes, the eyes of the mind. Please turn that down. Second Kings 6 through 8, the living dead among us only see with their physical eyes. Panic can blind you. Natural blindness, oh my God, is a disaster. Don't allow fear to blind you. Don't do it. Do not allow fear to overpower you, your, your spiritual understanding, and shut you down. Are you with me tonight? If your eyes is not open, your enemy will laugh at you. Because they say, see, they're blind. So you got to see what they're doing. You got to know. Are you with me? One day a lady came in my office and she said, oh, you know, Apostle, you're not seeing. Uh, uh, and I said, oh, okay, so I'm not seeing. So this is what I see. And this is, and this, 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 that, that, that. You said, she did like this. I said, yeah, I see everything. So let me blow your bubbles. This is what I see that I didn't say. So not because I don't say, don't mean I don't see. I'm a woman of wisdom. I learn. I learn this thing. To be quiet and not to speak everything. Let people say, you know, you can't see. Let them hold on to that. Are you hearing me? Fear renders you powerless. So tonight, when you are spiritually blind, your dreams will become an attack to you because you don't understand your dream because you're spiritually blind and you cannot see what the spirit is saying. Are you with me? 
So you think you're under attack when they're for truth. <laughs> you're not under attack. You have the victory. When you are spiritually blind, you will chase away your angels. Yeah. Are you understanding me tonight? Don't chase away your angels. Don't chase away your angels because you're spiritually blind. When you are spiritually blind, your enemy will look like your friends whoops somebody say uh oh yeah i just heard you i saw you i saw you your enemies will look like your friends because you can't see the spirit that's operating through them all right when you're spiritually blind you will see <laughs> Sin and call it righteousness. You will see sin and call it righteousness. When you see sin, you will call it righteousness. I'm closing in two seconds and pray. When you are spiritually blind, you will be careless. When you are not spiritually blind, your dreams will have meaning. And you will understand. Do you know how to interpret your dreams? Study the word of God and you will, can, you will be able to interpret your dreams. Because your dreams are, are, are interpreted through the word. Yeah. When you are not spiritually blind, you, your dreams will have meaning when our eyes are open guidance will be sure my god guidance will be assured you will be assured of what you're saying and doing and you will know who you are you will know who you are when your eyes are spiritually open nobody gotta tell you who you are you know you are you was wondering that? Yeah. Are you with me tonight? You understand? So the Bible says that when your eyes are open, you will defend righteousness. You won't bother with people's foolishness. You won't wonder if, if that's true or that's not true. Nope. You are, you go and you, the spiritual the, the spirit of revelation will 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 points you to the truth and he inside of you telling you mm -mm, that's not true oh no 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 and you'll be like you shut down like you know what like um I, I I don't I don't believe that I don't I don't I don't want to take that in in and and be, cause you to believe that I think that's the truth so I'm sorry. When people minister to me and, and um, they're Jehovah's Witnesses or I said, I'm sorry, but I'm a born again believer. I, I, I know the truth. Yeah. You understand? I know the truth. Don't bother with people foolishness because you know the truth. Just keep it moving because you can't convince them of the lies that they, that they think they know. They don't know the truth because truth would make them free. You will not bother with their foolishness because life is a mystery. What did I say it again? When your eyes are open, you will defend righteousness. You won't bother with people foolishness because life is a mystery. They don't even know it. See who you are so you won't be demoted by God. See who you are so you can be confident. Are you with me? Many people come to the earth. They don't know who they are. They die going gone back without fulfilling the purpose why they are here. They don't know. Because they didn't take the time out to sit and say, My God. 
I don't even know who I am. Can you tell me? And you begin to know yes, who you are from within. What's your purpose? What's your purpose? What is your purpose? Too many of us are thinking that we're so spiritually and spiritual, yet our eyes, our spiritual understanding, which is our spiritual eyes, are blinded. It's not, the Bible said, the book, in the book of, I think, Romans or Corinthians, one of them, it says, the, 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 Satan comes to blind the eyes of the people so that they won't see, they won't understand the truth. Are you with me tonight? Many people come to this earth and they don't know who they are. Sit down and relax and meditate on the word of God and know who you are in the earth and what your purpose is. So call nobody not to tell you, oh, you're a prophet. Oh, you're an evangelist. Ain't nobody going to tell you that. Once you're born again, nobody going to tell you, oh, God call you. Ain't nobody going to tell you that. You know that by having a relationship with God while you're in prayer. He reveals who you are and who he is and who you will be and what you have. And he reveals it to you. Do you understand? They have become what people say. So instead of knowing who they are, they, they everything people tell them, that's what they believe. Oh, uh, the prophet did tell me, say, the prophet told me that I'm a prophet. Really? The prophet tell you? Did God tell you? Wow. The Bible says your work precedes you. It, follows, it, it, it goes before you. That's how we come now and validate the gift that you got. It must be seen before, listen, we see the gift before we see you. We see who you are before we see you because who you are is spiritual. We, who you are is first spiritual. Then it be, as you live out who you are, you we, we then validate when, when, when prophet, when, when Bishop um, got saved, the first thing he did, he became a Jonathan. Man, that man is such an armor bearer. Forget it. Oh my God. Loyal, honest, real. Yo, love God for real to this day. Nothing, listen, no girl can, and every girl can strip naked. For him, wife, no, I have no problem. Because most say, girl, what you doing? Because he don't love the flesh. He loved the spirit. When prophetess Rose got saved, ain't nobody going to tell her that? Immedi my God, the minute she opened her mouth, the, oh, and she didn't know what he was saying, the Lord said. No, it was just happening. And you're saying, whoa, my God, God, the girl here, for the prophet or something, because everything she says, I saw it go. It, 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 it comes, it, it go, your, your gift, your gift proceed, the gift goes before you. You come with your, after your gift. Do you understand that tonight? When you have Christ in you, your relationship with him causes you to know who you are. And then we validate who you are. What, I didn't know I was an apostle. No, what? I just love God. I didn't know I was a pastor. I just love God. I didn't know I was an evangelist. I just love God. I didn't even, I don't know anything. I just love God. My pastor said, um, well, it? yes, sir. You ready for what, sir? For fight. We mean fight, sir. Um, we're going down to this lady house and, you know, um, no, as a matter of fact, yeah, before that, Pastor said, Sister, when I died in church, and um, Pastor said, You know what? Start the cell group in the house. Well, I don't even know what is cell group at the time. So uh, they came to, they came to the, 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 the deliver me that night because I was, I was still in the casket. And when God 
when God, um, when they, when, while they praying and said, oh, she's coming out. She's coming out. She's coming out. They, how do, I'm saying, I'm kneeling there in the, in the circle. And I, how do they know that? They knew everything God was showing me. And I didn't even open my mouth. They were saying it. I'm like, I don't know. They want to know that. And that's how I become. And people from all walks of life come for prayer. I didn't know I was an intercessor. I just I love to talk to God. Then we call it intercessors for Christ. That goes on for many years, eight years. One day, pastor come and say, shut it down. I say, yes, sir. You started? Oh, of course. Not one of us said, oh, pastor, why you have to shut it down? Why, uh, um, and, and we prayed. Everybody take their little time and buy. We're gone. Nobody have nothing to say. One day, two years later, I had a barbecue outside on the Lord. My pastor passed by and said, boy, well, what are you doing? I said, sir, we're having a little get together. Got pastor watching, you don't even know. And do you know he's stopping? Sister Linda said, Pastor, we can't, we can't go inside go pray. I said, why not? Right here, the Lord said, start back the prayer ministry. I said, two years later. He said, God said to start it back because you were obedient. You never frowned when I disciplined you. Nope. I, nobody can tell me nothing about my pastor nor my God. No. Nobody. Nobody. No, 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 my relatives, no, my children, no, my, nah, nobody. Let me talk about them. No, you're not talking about them. Because guess what? You talk um, to me about them, that's called gossip, and I'm not in it. That's going to taint my, taint my anointing. Are you hearing me on tonight? Tonight, what am I saying to you? Your gift goes before you. I know who, all of my kids in church, all of them, I can tell them who they are. Yeah. Nobody got to go, come from outside, come tell us, tell me who they are. Then I would never be their pastor. No, I'm their shepherd. I know them. And I know what this one can do, and that's why I fight. Listen, I fight them to do. Listen, I say you can do it. But apostle, I said, I don't want to hear nothing. You can do it. Man, and they do so marvelous. Oh, my God. I said, see, see. Then they become so great. Then they, they miss. Then no, they think that they can go open the church and gone and left me. But <clears throat> you know who they are. Amen. What am I saying? Life is a mystery. You need to know who you are. Don't become what people say. Become who you are in. God. And you'll have confidence in who you are. What? The other day, I had a, um, a, a, everything I was thinking. Oh, my God. When I, Pro Prophetess Rose started to, I said, God said, I said, where, where you been? Where, where, where? It seemed like she was sitting right beside me. I said, Jesus. Mm -mm. Lakwana called me, um, apostle. You know, the Lord was saying to me, I said, I said, Lord, what? Word for word. What? God, listen to me, man. When God call you, you don't have to wonder, you don't have to put it on, you don't have to try, you don't have to, you don't have to pretend, you don't have to, it flows out of you. Why? Because it's not you. It's the spirit of God that lives in you. It's the gift of God. It's the gift of God that's flowing. He said, I gave some to be. It's him who he lives in you flow through you. You are not, you can't even try it if you want. He is the one that enables us. The gift is not for us. It's he enable us to do great and awesome things. It's him. Where you come from? You in yourself can do nothing. Now that Paul says, Paul says, I in myself can do nothing. Everything I am. All that I am is Christ. 
We in ourselves can't do nothing. Are you with me tonight? People see what society say about them. We don't care what people say about me. I know who I am. I know who I am. Eek. I'm so confident knowing who I am. Ain't nobody can talk, tell me nothing. Lord God. And I, I, I keep saying, I'm a, every time God speak, I said, I'm a prophet for real. The Lord told me one day, said, you're a prophet by nature. So I kept saying to my, my son in South Carolina, I said, Mama, I'm always saying, you know, how, oh, how, how, you, how you keep saying you're a prophet by nature. And then the Lord revealed to him, who is a prophet by nature? I was born with it. I said, he says, Mama, wow. You ain't got to, you ain't got to be careful. Listen, I see prophetess Forbes here. Listen, man, I told this woman of God, I said, you're a prophet by nature. Look, nobody got to tell you that you're a prophet. The minute you open, and it, where she go? As she open, now, nah, listen, God just assure her everything and every, every, about everybody. I'm like, jeez, wow. My God. One day the Lord said, Prophet Moses told me years ago, he says, you're the next Catherine Coleman in the earth. Okay, that was years ago. I don't even remember that. I just knew I went out and I bought all her books and I studied Catherine Coleman. Still can come up like that. I'm like, I just forget it. Because whatever, whatever I am right, I'm good. <clears throat> she came into church a couple of weeks ago. She said, you know, Apostle, I walk in the church and the Lord says, that's my next Catherine Coleman. I said, what? Oh, God still have that in mind? So, you know, I'm just... I just, when God gives you a gift, he validates it. Ain't no man got to validate it. God validates who you are. What you talking about? Man, God is good. Let the spirit speak and let man be quiet. When you see and you know God, you can do great exploit. You want to see, you want to do great exploit? You got to know God. You got to know what he can do who he is. You know, I woke up this morning and the Lord says, you know, I have a heart. Didn't I have hands? I say, yes, Lord, I know. He said, you know, I have feet. I say, yeah. He said, you know, I have eyes too. So all this scripture was just flowing through me as he was speaking. I said, yes, Lord. Don't, don't they know that I walk among them? I said, yes, Lord, I know. Whoa. Oh, my God. And so God, he speaks. God is a spirit. When you see and know God, you can do great exploits. Moses prayed, Lord, show me my enemies. And he says, and, and, and uh, show me my enemies. He says, I want to see. Do you want to see? That's what I want to ask you tonight. Do you want to have spiritual eyes to see? Do you want to have spiritual ears to hear? Do you? Do you want to have a spiritual understanding that will guard your heart and your mind? Do you? Okay. Do you want to have the mouth uh, the tongue of a ready, of a ready, of a, the tongue of a, a, a of a red, a, the pen, your tongue be the pen of a ready writer. Yeah. And do you want whatever you says? It's already written in the book. Hmm? What the spirit is saying to you. Do you want that? Wow. Tonight, all you have to do. Always spend quiet time with God. Love him with all your heart, your mind, your will, your soul. Don't think on what you want, what you need, what you want to get with you. Spend quality. Let your mind, my God, be overtaken by his spirit, by his word. Love him. Let me tell you, it's when you read the word in quietness and you love it, that's what happened. You will find yourself whoop at the scene. You know how I, God gave me revelation 
um, this morning, I came home from one evening from work and I sit at the side of my bed and the Lord, and I'm reading and the word says, and they pierce his side and blood and water come out. Whoop, I found myself on the scene. I said, oh my God, that's what they did to you, Lord. Oh, Mr. Stark, cry. You know what he was doing? Giving me revel uh, um, discerning. I said, from that day to day, the word has not been the same to me. I said, Lord, I want to see, I want to hear. I don't want to be a novice. So show me your ways according to your word. Possess me with your truth. Be said, God, the devil possess people. And they act all kind of crazy way. I said, I want to be possessed by you. Possess me, Lord. Tonight, you can. But you have to have one, a meek and quiet spirit. Two, you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind. Not part of it, no. All. All of it. Lead a peaceable and quiet life. Always be a peacemaker. The Bible says, Blessed are the peacemaker, for they shall be called the children of God. They shall be called. Make peace at all times. Forgive everybody. Hold nothing in you. No grudge. Nothing can 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 uh, cling to you. Call grudge and pain and hurt and unforgiveness. No, that's not a part of your vocabulary, your life. Mm -mm. I don't care. You could have just murdered me, done me, you know, me, me, me. I have nothing against you. Mm -mm. It don't even hurt. It's like you never do me anything. Like you never did me nothing. I just keep it moving. Why? Because it feels to me it I'm I'm feeling like I don't I have no it's like I don't I'm normal to this life. It's like I'm numb. It's like I don't it's not it's like I'm I'm here, but I'm not here. My body is here, but my spirit is is not. Me not. I'm not caught up with anything here. Mm -mm. So whatever comes, it's not. It's like nothing. It's like nothing. So tonight, I'm just lost in God. I, I don't know. I'm just, that's me. I'm just, you got my heart. It's got my mind. And so tonight, that's how I see it. So I hear, so I know. And that's why I can't, I can't, I don't, I can't deal with when I see sin. I can't handle sin. I can't handle it. I can't handle things out here. I just want to stay in. Are you with me? I thank God for you tonight. I'm done. I thank God for every one of you. Father, only you are holy. Only you are worthy. May you open the eyes of your people. These your humble servants called midnight criers. God, they're up even now as the demonic forces are roaming. They have the victory over them, over it, over the works of darkness. Father, they are hunger and thirsting after righteousness. Fill them up tonight. Open the eyes of their understanding. Daddy, thank you. I release the 
same spirit that manifests in me, my God, to manifest in them, giving them a hunger and a thirst, Jesus, after righteousness, fill them tonight, God, with your spirit. Cause them to see in the from the realm of the spirit, like Elijah's uh, uh, armor bearer, Lord God, like Peter, who saw you, oh, glory to God, and said, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. Father, tonight, you said flesh and blood did not reveal that to you. But my Father who is in heaven, Father in heaven, through Jesus Christ of Nazareth, open their, the eyes of their understanding and enlighten them with truth. Let the Holy Spirit come alive, illuminate their eyes the eyes of their soul god that your word become life your word becomes truth lord they will see my god in the realm of the spirit god that lord god they will see good and they will see evil they will know you god and the power of your resurrection your word will be come life to their soul lord god they will oh my god be here but lord god their minds are 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 in heavenly places god in the name of jesus cause them their spirit to be quickened my god by your spirit god empower them god tonight is a night god their dreams will be Come a reality in the spirit. God, they will know the difference. Mm -mm. Yes, God. Oh, God, they will, your word will take root and come alive. They will know, God, they will not, they will know the difference. Lord God, in, 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 in being quiet and though to be, and, and to answer. God, they will know, they will have wisdom to know the difference. Father, tonight, they will know their victory, when they serve their victories one. I know God, they, when they know what to fight and when they're not to fight, God, you teach them Holy Ghost tonight. Open their eyes that they may see, Lord, that their desires will die. God, that they, they that that the 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 thing they are so hungering and thirsting after, God, it must be you, God, and to be filled with your spirit, your presence. God, walk and talk with them. Show them great and mighty things, my God, as you walk and talk, Lord God, with Elijah, as you walk and talk with Elijah. Lord, you spoke to Moses. God, you spoke to Joshua. You spoke to Jeremiah. You spoke to Esther. You spoke, oh God. Lord, God, you spoke to your people. Father, tonight, speak to your children, Lord. Cause them to know you and the power of your resurrection. Oh, Lord, make no tarrying tonight. Give them Lord God, call, God, give them eyes to see, ears to hear what the Spirit is saying. Yes, God. And that, Lord God, they'll di differentiate good and evil. They will know, oh God, you and the power of your resurrection. Lord, I thank you that God, they will rise above every circumstances because they know, Lord, they will understand because you're reasoning with them and they aren't, oh my God, God do to them what you have done to me as we become one in you, Lord God, and your your people will know you. Tonight, God, hey, enlighten them. Yes, God, tonight, God. Oh, God, cause them to destroy principalities and powers and rulers of darkness. My God, cause their spirit to be quickened. Woo! That they will know glory to God. The word will become, my God, food to their soul. Lord Jesus. Oh, they will, my God, be spiritually minded, which is life and peace tonight, God. I thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord 
God. I thank you tonight, Daddy. Thank you that your people, God, will not be the same. But God, they will know. They will know. They will see. They will know. Mm. Lord, your word. When they spend your, yeah, they hear your word. Lord, your word will quicken their mortal being. My God, tonight they will not be tricked. They will not be hindered. They will not be harmed. They will become oh god my god the very essence of who jesus was in the earth father thank you for them bless them tonight god let your spirit move in them give them dreams and vision show them lord great and mighty things show them lord afresh show them afresh show them god god call them to be joyful mm. let them sense your love daddy overwhelm them with your love your presence that they may know yes god give them a peace that pass all human understanding that guard their hearts and their minds tonight be it unto them according to your word father thank you thank you as we honor you and bless you in jesus name amen Children of God, receive it. Whenever you finish, pray and just live, lead a peaceable, quiet. Don't fuss with nobody. Don't fight with nobody. Act like you have no sense. Just because you don't have to fight. You don't have to fight. God's God is with you. Amen. I love you. I, 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 Bless God for you all. I bless God for you, um, ever bless. I bless God for you, Chrissy. God bless you. I bless God for you, Marcia. I bless God for you. I bless God uh, for you, Tia. I can't even see. I bless God. I bless God for you, Marcy. I bless God for you, Venice. I bless God for you tonight. Hallelujah. I bless God for all of you, all of you. Lorna, God, I bless God for you. Uh, Tia, I bless God for you. Ah, uh, glory to God. Ah, uh, faith, I bless God for you. Miss Campbell, I bless God for all of you. My God, every one of Father's children, I bless God for you tonight. Maybe. You receive the impartation. May you receive the impartation tonight. Giselle, Janelle, bless God for you. Thank God for you. I bless God. Really and truly, you are so amazing. You are so blessed. You don't even understand. This medium is not assigned by man god told me to do this i was shocked as what i don't like <laughs> this kind of thing but i'm doing it by god's assignment i don't know how long he's gonna have me to do it for but whatever he says i find that i'm not so thinking about this this medium like um, midnight cry like before it was so heavy 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 and so now I just want you to know receive all that God has for you so that when the time come and I'm not here ye get, you have gotten all that God wants you to get okay because not everything lasts sometimes some God has a timing as I told you last night it is truth and revelation that's his timing amen so i bless god for you family sasha bless you i pray that you will be restored in your life in jesus name amen and so all of you marjorie god bless you my love my bonus god bless you prophetess rose and bishop harper Lord God, may you keep blessing them. May you keep pouring into them. May this and these people are the replica of who I am. Lord God, I'm telling you, oh my God, they are the very essence of the nature of God. Oh my God, what this, they live for God for real. 
I'm telling you for real. Amen. They live for God for real. Pastor Theodore Berkeley, he live for God for real. You know I would tell you the truth. You know me. I would tell you the truth. I don't cover it up because I don't want God to punish me. No. I don't lie for nobody. I tell the truth. All you can do is to say, why do you say that? And I say, I'll tell the truth. So tonight, God bless you. God bless every one of you. God bless you tonight. You are, you are precious to the Lord. And he is moving on and in you. Now he's he moved on you. Now he's moving in you. Expect what God is, is, a, is doing in a few. Now until he, you see, you'll know when he stops. But he's, he was on you before. Now he's moving in. In you now, you move. He move in so that now it's you're gonna see sense a difference. Amen. And so be blessed tonight. Be a blessing to somebody. I I this is my job. If you want to bless me, you know the cash up is there. You do what you know. I don't. I'm not one that's on here and say so. You see it. So you see it. You know I don't do that. You know, I, 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 you give. Sometimes, last week I only got $40. It's not a problem. I'm not here for money. I'm here to bless God's people. Amen. I'm here to bless God's people. Glory to God. I'm here to bless Nardia. I bless God for you. This daughter of God has been keeping a commitment. Eh, oh my God, you don't even know. This daughter, pray for her. And she's a, she's a, um, she's an essential worker. Every time you see her name come up, Nardia Anton, just know that this is an essential worker and she's on the front line. Glory, right now she's on the front line and I need you to pray for her continuously. And those of you that are on the front line, let us know that you're a front line worker, that we continue to pray for you. Amen, that God will empower you. God told you, Nardia, the house, you stand now, you look for a house. That is, that's the time now. Amen, because you have been toiling and toiling and toiling, and God wants to bless you and settle you and your kids and your husband. Amen. So I thank God for you, every one of you. God is moving in and is going to lift you up. And it's going to move you, move mightily in you. you you're going you're gonna to be so shocked as to what God is doing for you. You're going to be so amazed as what, at what God is doing in your lives. I love you. Bless you. Have a wonderful night. And I'll speak to you tomorrow. Love you.